Episode, episode eight. Actually, so this is the start of episode eight. So this is. You said you're episode uh, editing episode seven. It's episode eight. So you're editing seven, yeah. and we're starting so eight. Yeah. Yesterday was it? Yeah. Okay. Correct. All right. All right. Here we go. Take two, Michael. Episode eight. So this is it. We're, what are you doing? Drive through? We're just going in. We're gonna go drive through. All right, Mike. For the filmings. <laughs> So this oh, is it, the final. final before we do the complete walkthrough. So this is the next to final day. I'm probably gonna have a little bit of stuff to do in the morning, maybe. So we just went to the, just did our depot run, making our Starbucks run to start off the day nicely. We're gonna get some Matt, Matt some uh, some some treats and some coffee. Yeah. He um, sent us here, right? Matt mm -hmm. wants a cake pop. And yeah, a cake pop, he would probably actually like about 50 of those. Should I just get him a cake pop? You think he think like pink, pink one? His birthday cake inside. I think that's his yeah, jam. Like, what's on the plan for today? Mike? I have to, I have to dial in the lifts, the ramps, to the appropriate height. Um, I have to finish the supply um, from um, the building to the DI, DI to the pressure washer, button all that up, and then I've got to patch walls, some painting. Um, I have to wire in the compressor. I need to wire in the uh, lift, the north side lift. Mm. There's probably some other stuff I'm not yeah. thinking of right this moment, but I have a fair amount to do. Yeah. And it's been every day, 12 hours plus every day. <laughs> I wish we were going somewhere actually better than Starbucks, but the place is closed until tomorrow, Mike. But tomorrow, buddy, we're going to the bakery. Is that right? Yes, well bred bakery. This is the last hurrah, Mike. Yeah. We get our, our our favorite cinnamon rolls. You enjoy it without regret, Mike. I'm having a hard time. No, you stop having a hard time. It's yeah. okay. Your belt fits a little tighter. Don't worry about that. It does fit tighter. It's just dial it in when you get home. This is this is a reward for just being a good guy and doing some editings for the people, Mike. I'll buy you your cinnamon roll. Mike, How's that sound? You're a good person. And uh, good. Wabanita, you got to buy your own. But Michael, <laughs> yeah, fires. Morning bun is probably better as far as flavor and decadence. <laughs> but as far as <laughs> decadence, yeah. wow, Mike. <laughs> we could make a channel. We could. We surely could. I'm a professional cinnamon roll connoisseur, Mike. Yeah. Do you think people are gonna be mad that we're talking about this for this long in this episode? I don't know, Mike. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm I don't think so. Okay. You know, I don't think so. No. Okay, what you need? I think so. Venti Americano, Mike. Blonde roast, of course. You like that, yeah. I do. So it's fired up the compressor. It's building pressure now. We're at, it's like 111 PSI. Quiet. Yeah, it's very quiet. So I'm going to grab a blower and go out there to the furthest part and test it out. So I'm going to install on a 20 amp, 250 volt receptacle there. I could not find locally a um, two gang cover plate for that receptacle, so I had to make one. So I bought a blank, one of the unbreakable nylons. So I bought one of those and then used a hole saw, laid out where the receptacle goes, and uh, used a hole saw to make a cover plate. So I'm just going to get it screwed on now. The compressor's up and running, as you guys saw. So as soon as this is done, um, Fred went to go get me a um, <clears throat> 20 amp, 250 volt uh, plug for the end of this. So get this wired up, get those shims trimmed off. I shimmed the, shim the units so they're, they're plumb. Uh, I had to do that one too because it's sitting right where the conduit comes up and the concrete was humped there. So I did that. Uh, so as soon as this one's done, I'm going to work on here, get this done. Um, get the supply for water, run over here and down to the DI system. And I'm going to use Prevo for that. Oh yeah, so this is our foam cannon holder. So we've got three of these. See, they say obsessed garage. That's nice. Yeah, so yeah, these will go here. I think we'll put the, the first one right about here. That way the foam, the cannon hangs down. It doesn't interfere with the pipe and it comes over. I'm thinking one, probably two, right about there, and three right about there. I think that would look cool. Yes, assistant. 
Assistant Wabanita. Thank Assistant you. Person. Where's Wabba Wawa? She's, she's uh, in, in, she's sleeping. All right, so that's gonna go like that. And then these plug in and just hold your cannon like so. And just, nice, very nice. I wanna, furthermore, I'm gonna get back to it, Michael. Stop distracting me, you know? All right, so this is our incoming water supply. Um, so I shut the water off outside. So I'm gonna pull this cap off and adapt our Prevo piping to it. So um, we're, we may, we shouldn't get any water out of here because I opened the hose bib outside. So hopefully gravity has bled everything out there. Anyway, so I, I'm going to do this, find the Prevo adapter so we can adapt to this. This actually looks like, uh, no, it's copper or brass but it doesn't appear to be threaded like I thought it was. This is a copper pipe. I'm assuming it's, it's gotta be soldered inside the wall. Fred, Fred probably remembers. And then I'll have to, uh, I'm gonna have to get a torch. Maybe Fred has one, I, I'll talk to him. All right, we got live OG delivery, right? Yeah, right up, right. Perfect timing here as we're, we're wrapping up. To have nice. the, the rupees uh, yeah, the battery new one. operated. I don't even know what they call it. Rupees yeah, battery operated, yada yada. I'm sure they got a fancy name for yeah. Bigfoot battery Big or something. Foot. Kind of a whole bunch of junk we got to throw away. <laughs> cool. Rupees juice there? Yep, yep. Is this the 21 or the 15? This should be the 15. Okay, yeah, 15. Okay, yeah. good, good. I'm going to find out how expensive this is going to get for me. <laughs> If I, our polishing pack is about to go up by 300 bucks. This sucker ain't cheap. Interesting backing plate. Let's see here. Hand it over to the master. Yeah. Interesting that they've gone to a solid backing plate because there's no interface. I bet you that's what they had to do to get the balance right. Yeah. It's so much lighter than Milwaukee. You can't really tell much without. See, the thing I like about this over the Milwaukee was that, you know, it, the Milwaukee doesn't make sense. You have to hold it from the battery. So what they've done here is they've kicked the weight yeah. down toward the heel of your hand instead of, you know, the others like the Flex and the Milwaukee, I have to come out here in yeah, order yeah. to balance it. Yeah. Um, so I do like that this feels so much more ergonomic. So they, you know, they took their time, but they thought through it. Yeah, I like this a lot. Looks like it's got a, a lot of torque. Yeah, I'm only at speed four. Yeah. No stall. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Success. Uh, bring a car on. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> cool. Thank you. All right. So we got we had uh, just copper three quarter inch copper pipe sticking out of the wall. So I went down to Ace Hardware, picked up a three quarter inch female adapter, some emery cloth, scuffed the pipe, scuffed the the uh, fitting. We've got our propane torch now that now uh, Fred will always have a torch and then uh, some solder and a wet rag. So I already had the flux on there. So now we just have to get her sweated together. And you want to concentrate your heat on the fitting, not the pipe, because you want to draw the solder into the fitting. There we go. And then you hit it with a wet wag to get it nice and clean. And you can actually see the solder all the way around the inside of the fitting. So it definitely drew it in. And you hear your dog, Michael, on there. She's going to be with your wife. All right. So now we have um, our Prevo fitting has three quarter inch male pipe thread on it. So that'll thread right into there. So I'll leave that on to keep it cool. And that's that. Easy.
I only had to buy Fred all the tools, so now he can do his own uh, copper repair. So I'm gonna use this three quarter inch thread 90 right out of here. I'll kick that up, something like that. 90 this way, come across the wall and down. So get this taped up. We're running really low on Teflon tape. This is probably the, the fourth roll I've gone through. You know, I mean, if you had three quarter inch, we do, you can get these with a half inch male pipe on the end. So if you're plumb for half inch, you can, you know, same situation, you just have to, you'd buy the Prevo fitting with a three quarter inch male pipe. Yeah, we got enough fittings, I'll, I'll make it work. What's up, Maddie? It's gonna make it work. There's some nice, uh, I clean something. Yeah, those, are, <laughs> those are really nice. Look like Mickey Mouse. Car Pro. Car Pro. Oh, like Mickey Mouse. I could have used these a couple of days ago when I was cold. Yeah. Yeah. I can clean all the pipes. You should do that, yeah. Pipes. Coat them, yeah. wipe them. Mm hmm. You're going to coat, make sure you put gloves on first. You got to double. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Keep these the are kind of cool. Keep the sweats in. Um, I never thought of this. It would be like kind of do some car cleaning. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. uh, that's something all right. Finding all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Fred's really, he's a pretty good shopper, isn't he? Yeah, he's got me, uh, he's got, got you me on my heels. He's got you all, <laughs> got a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm just, I'm gonna work on getting this side done. Uh, this is the outflow from the uh, DI water. I mean, obviously this is our bypass here, so we can either run DI water or just tap water through it, untreated. So I'm using a three quarter to one inch Prevo, three quarter male pipe to Prevo, right? Then I'm, I'm, I've actually rarely used the 45s, but I'm created a little offset here. So this is just in mock-up. I haven't tightened any of this down yet. I was just trying to get a feel for what, how I want it to look. And, and I want this to be, this pipe to be secure, secure the stand pipe, because this, it's all gonna be, this will be hanging off of that. So I have to make sure this is pretty secure. So I'm clamp here. I'm gonna throw another clamp up here somewhere. So I'm gonna get this done. I don't wanna over explain it, but essentially come out, offset in, go through the clamp, go through another clamp. And what I'm gonna do with the second clamp is I wanna put the second clamp right up against the fitting here so that the weight of this is hung off of the clamp and not hanging off all this fittings here. So this will kind of just be a, a clamp to center everything and keep everything in line. And the last clamp will be right up against the, uh, the nut well, this nut basically, um, so this, that the weight hangs right on the clamp. I'm just dropping things all the place. <laughs> anyway, so then I'll then I'll work on this side. It's all the de little details, Mike. I like the details. So, should we keep, should we keep showing? Or? <laughs> well, I think we can. Let me do a little bit, and then we'll cut back to it. And what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Show people what's what. All right. It's a lot going on here, Michael. Yeah, there is. It's a lot of fittings. A lot of parts and pieces. Cinnamon rolls tomorrow. Heck yes, cinnamon rolls tomorrow. Yep. Heck yes. Yep. So you know, Fred dropped a little S bomb in the last video too. I missed that one. <laughs> just Mike. It's becoming a <laughs> It's becoming a pattern. Now if we could just get Mike and Matt to say like him like and subscribe, MFers. That would be yeah. we'd get a million views on that one for sure. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's funny. It's gonna be great. A, well, it's we're like a new epiphany. It was like not okay, and now well, it is. Uh, only that there weren't <coughs> quite the fittings that I would have oh, typically sure. oh, required man. to do this job. But oh, you know, that's all right. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it. Okay, we're gonna make it. I was making some eggs, and I didn't know we were in crisis mode. No, no, no. There was never, a, there was never a crisis. Oh, okay. Cool. I will always figure it out. Don't you worry. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go build that, um, build his desk. <clears throat> All the little, little details come together. Uh -huh. That's lots, what you're very good at. Lots of details. Lots of organizi organizing. Yeah, we got two more days of details. Oh wait, well, no, today's the last day of details, isn't it? Well, no, we have till about noon tomorrow. I told what, but we'd be out of his hair by noon tomorrow. Okay, well, that's, that's, our, that's our final deadline. That seems pretty aggressive. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> how that goes. I want to stress him out. He's an artist. Artiste. Artiste. That's right. There we go. Pretty clean, huh, Mike? Hang on. Uh, do some, do some adjusting here. So 
a slight bit of adjustings. So what you get to do with the unions is you can kind of play with them. Like you can kind of twist the hose how you want it to be if you want it out here. And then you can lock in the union and it'll hold it in place. So for example, if I wanted that one like that, it, could st it will stay. And then if I wanted to mess with this one, which I just released it. So now that one is, so I can twist it like so and it would stay there. Or I can twist it like that so it stays that in that plane. And just tighten it and it kind of freezes it to some degree anyway. So this is the first time really you've, you've uh, plumbed one, one of these up, That's right? it. This, well, we've, we've uh, tested it, but this is the first time I've actually plumbed one, you know, hard plumbed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else was for test. Not really uh, to use in a permanent situation. So you're the first. Rightfully so. Serial number one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. That side is done. Obviously, I have some touch-up paint to do. Lots of monkeying around, scratching up walls, but we'll get that dialed in. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So now, this is the easier side. <laughs> um, so, bring my pipe over and down. I'm going to want it in the same plane as this. So I'll thread this 90 in first, the street L bow into the unit and then what I'll do is use my laser that you just kicked over. No, I'm just kidding, you didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm just teasing you. Anyway, I'll use a street L on here, then I'll put a laser line up the wall and be able to bring my pipe straight down into it. So I'll get my clamps all set up, which is my preferred method. I like to get my clamps mounted on the wall and then I can use those to snap the pipe in, make my marks on the pipe, get everything mocked up, make my cuts, and then uh, everything seems to go together more easily that way. This is a lot. You know, a lot going on in this garage. I mean, I've literally been piddling for like 36 hours straight, and I'm still not done. <laughs> you know, just moving stuff around, put it in work. You are, you are a pro piddler. Yeah. Pro level piddler though. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, if I meant some piddling done at the house, I knew exactly who I'm calling. Yeah, well, somebody's got to do it. I know. I usually like to do it, but you a are, lot of... you take it to another level. Yeah. I'm throwing away, I mean, I've emptied probably 45 plastic bins and at least 150 Ziploc bags of different things. Like, what are you going to go do right now? we will go get a nice coffee because my buddy Mike Waba didn't make one for me. <laughs> you got a guilt trip me that way. I'm a, I, I've been here with you filming this shenanigans here. Uh, yeah, you've been doing some editing too for the people, which are more important than my coffee. Yeah. So let's go. You want to walk over there with me? We'll both make one. Yeah, Should probably make one for Wabanita too. And uh, Waba Doggy. So this, this is the ice that kept me up. Look at the size of it. Here, throw one in there. Well, it sounded like this. That's literally what it was like, because the thing was empty, yeah. and every, and it's like this far from where the ice is made, so it has the long drop. Yeah. So it made lots of noise, just so you could have your ice, Mike. Hey Mike, this is a this is a large uh, brisket. That's a brisket. We never did cook that. last pipe Mike so this is it with all Prevost when I'm done with this so what I last thing I need to do is position this at the same height so I got to spin a nut on here because we want this 
to come out even. So we spin a nut here so that these are at the same height. Right, like that, okay. There, okay. Now we're sat in position, we're gonna take a measurement from face of fitting to face of fitting. 57 and a quarter, and we add two and an eighth to that. So 59 and an eighth. I mean, no, 59 and three eighths, sorry. That should be perfect. And it's for me too, Michael. She, 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 as soon as you knew that, she thinks this is for her. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Coming to see you, huh? She's like, no, don't grab me. Let me know, don't touch me. Let me know. What'd I say, Mike? 59 and 3 eighths? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a big moment, Mike. So I'm gonna make sure our label's in the back. Right there. Good, buddy. I'm glad it's it's just about there. Okay. Wow, well, that's it, huh? Yeah. So now we turn the water back on. And uh, hope there's no leaks. Well, I guess we're rest for, ready for the final piece of the puzzle, which is the hose. Don't appear to have any leaks. This is good. This is real good. So it's this hose goes on. All right, so hose installation. Swivel on this end. And uh, I'm gonna have to go get a wrench. I believe this is a, a 24, if I'm not mistaken. Just uh, make it tight. And uh, I always check the threads inside the cox reel, look for paint or anything going on that shouldn't be, in case you have to clean it out, but it looks fine, so no need to do anything to this one. That's why we put the swivel on this end. Mm-hmm, because the you don't need a swivel on the other end because the hose has a swivel, I mean the uh, gun has a swivel, so it would be redundant, so this is why you put the swivel on this end, yes. That ought to do it right there. That's good and tight, mate. Okay, now. We have this goes on. That's it. This is the little clamp that holds it to the reel. So that goes right there. So take this, open this up, slip it around the hose. Okay, that's it. Now we can install it. All right, now we just have to set our drag up a little bit and we'll put our fitting on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to look. It's satisfying when it looks like that. All right, so now we need one of these. I think he already has a gun somewhere. This is gonna be Mosmatic, yep. That's the beauty of the custom install, you get everything you need. Yep, we even send it, I believe we even send it with Teflon tape. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but this is, I mean, this is a lot. Because this is a lot going on. This is probably, this is probably the most complex one I've done. Because we have five valves here and one up there. And there's a lot going on, you know. But this is fun. I like doing this kind of thing. Could do this all day, every day. Which I do, matter of fact. All right, I need to go get a 19 for that. Right back. Last piece of the puzzle, Mike. Mm -hmm. And we just have to find a gun somewhere and we can test it out. So check it out. I uh, had a little reorg. We uh, got the desk put together. So it rolls now. Got everything out of here. Doesn't seem like much. It's like, oh, what's a big deal? <laughs> it's like freaking 30 hours of piddling around to get everything in cabinets. Uh, and out of the way, so we'll do the final 
lockdown of the lifts. Uh, once Kyle, Kyle's finishing the last painting, the last little, little, little bin there, it's only taken him all day, you know, to do that. So it's a huge project. Seems like, no, again, on camera, it looks like it's no big deal. It's like, oh, what's a big deal? What's well, taking a guy an entire day, you know, to paint, to paint those, those things, you know, but he's done a good job. So I've been piddling all day, just putting stuff away. So we have a pretty decent looking setup. Tools are here. I put the lift blocks here for now. So we've got all the lift lift stuff until he gets the stuff he's gonna need for his Porsche. Um, between Kyle and I, we kind of work through getting all these drawers organized with our pads. And then up here is all of our detailing chemicals. This is the interior on the left, polishing on the right. Kyle set up all of the uh, coatings here. Uh, this, this was a, a good five or six hour project of getting all the, you know, all the battery stuff set up and wired up so it looks pretty. Extra you know, detailing stuff there. Um, you know, just getting things. Fred made several trips to the to the dump or the storage unit, so getting that all cleaned out there was a you know big project today. And then working in here to take out all the st all the stuff he had in bins. So all these bins were filled with different things from his you know having to be you know having for him having to be mobile while you know moving in here. Um, so this whole area was lined with you know all the stuff that's now in the cabinets. The rest of the Prevost. Uh, Jeff came back uh, and uh, he leveled these out for us. Uh, Mike's got the compressor done, which you saw earlier. Uh, and then upstairs, did you guys go upstairs and see what it looked like? Yeah. Let me show you what it looks like now. So I spent some time up here this morning. Looks a little different. Got our stuff just sitting there until uh, we'll, we'll get some sort of rack. And then uh, when, when, when the final location is done, we'll I'll re that'll get you know terminated so but for now this was kind of the whole floor yeah so I got it all organized leave things better than you found them that's the motto that's the goal so again I, I get on camera it doesn't look like much but I've been at this it's been a good I mean solid days yeah yeah so. easily easily Kyle and I had three three solid days of just Organizing and Fred's pretty darn organized. So imagine if he wasn't We'd be here for a month So he had everything categorized and organized and all we had to do was just find a place to put it in the cabinets So as Mike works through the wash bay here Dealing with you know, there's so many different fittings just dealing with you know taping torquing little little leaks and stuff that uh, and stuff on the on the pressure washing system we will uh, you know get that buttoned up and then I have a little tweaking to do of the car washing stuff in here. And, uh, and you know, and Fred is very particular, so he'll go through and we just kind of got him roughed in and he'll go in, you know, drawer by drawer on his own as he's kind of, you know, getting it set up that what's, what works best for him. So we did what, you know, what made, we thought made sense. And then from there he can, he can adjust, but at least we got him a good baseline. So we're setting up. We're setting up the yeah. Neutron system. So we have Radio Raw right. 2. So all the PAL packs are in a central location up here in the, uh, what do we call this? The wiring hub, the electrical yeah. home run. So instead of putting the PAL packs on the lights, the PAL packs are all in one spot. Yeah, because Fred had you know, a hard ceiling and no attic space, there's nowhere to put the PAL packs to hide right. them right. And to give us that clean look. So. Yep. You can do a centralized location. So we got Fred to set up an account. Lutron is the Lutron app, and anybody can do it. I mean, it's super simple. Anybody can do this. We're going to do it. A little troubleshooting. So I had some eager helpers that were nice enough to offer to assemble some of this stuff for me. And um, we had just a couple of leakaroos there to, to take care of. I retaped and tightened most everything, and I don't have any leaks. So. We should be good. There's a lot of fittings here. I mean, just right here, we have five valves. We have one, two, three, four, five, six high pressure hoses. Yeah. We have a lot of, there's Prevo. None of the Prevost was leaking. So, um, 
Yeah, so I think we'll just let this sit for a while under pressure, make sure we don't have any leaks on the inlet, which we don't appear to. I'm gonna go uh, get something to drink and then come back and turn the pressure washers on and make sure we don't have any leak on any of the high pressure stuff. And uh, I think we'll call it, Mike. Gonna work on, maybe I'll put in the bolts for the, yeah. I think you need to go in the hot tub, you too. What time is it, Mike? Yeah, you should go turn it on right now. Yep. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So All right. All right. there, turn our water on. Both pressure washers are on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home. Is there anything better on the planet for <laughs> uh, hitting a car with? This is just absolutely. Awesome. You're right about 4.1, 4 4.2 yeah. gallons a minute at 1,000 psi. Props perfect. To you, props to you for figuring this out. Yeah. yeah. No. On, off, quiet, yep. you know, no drift yeah, or any, whatever the right term is. Yep. That's yeah. Lovely. How could you make this any better? You and, should you should see how well it foams. And the ho the hose is nice. This is a quarter inch hose, right? That's three eighths. Three eighths. That's a hose. that's yeah. our gate. Uh, that's our yeah. our uh, OG spec yeah, uh, in black instead black of blue. Version, yeah. mm -hmm. Is this available for yeah. everybody? Yeah. 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 We can get it. Okay. Yep. This is Mosmatic fittings, OG gun, Mosmatic mm -hmm. wand, Mosmatic tip. Boy, you, you're speechless. That's it. And, you know, props to you for faith. I mean, who would have, all right, let's just, you know, put two pressure washers together and see what Yeah, happens. yeah. It was That's something just... I did years ago with uh, a couple of cat yeah. pressure washers for a machine tool. And I thought, well, why wouldn't it work with, uh, yeah. with Krenzlis? And it does. This is, this, is, this is so typical bespoke OG. Yep. Bespoke OG. Let's see what we can do here to push the envelope. I just love it. That Porsche will never get dirty now. It'll be it'll be clean every every week. I got a nice uh, black swirled out suburban you can work on. With. <laughs> Should line up green. So we're just going through and adding up all our lights, all our zones. That looks like an extra pipe there, Mike. What's going on with that? That was no. That's not. This is an extra like. Yeah, it it was. It was just sent with it. I don't I don't need it. Oh, okay, all right. Well, yeah, I mean yeah. we already have a flex line here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just saw an extra part there. I thought it was like, you know, you like get your Ikea furniture and some yeah, the extra pieces. Extra bolts. Yeah. Like the shelf's a little wonky. Like what's it's going on here? No, no. Can I try the uh, water line uh, over here? Yeah, I have to plumb it in. I have oh, to get, uh, I have to put an end on that hose. That's your hose. Got a hose. He's got a different hose. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, then yes. Yeah. Okay. Wawa. Okay. I'm going to turn it off and then I'll put fresh washers on. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need that. He's blinking the lights on us. Yeah. No leaks. We're good. Your iPad's yeah. clean. Yeah, it's clean. Add a little bit. See it? Tell me what you would do to make this any more perfect. What would you possibly do? Mm. I don't know. For a washing experiment. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, incredible. So with the big boy, the KWS, you couldn't do that with one hand. Yeah. yeah you, you know. It kicks initially. This puts out more flow, but the initial kick is more. Yeah, the initial reason. kick on the, on, the, on the single KWS is like, you know, you got to two-hand it. This is right at the edge. So when people say, well, why don't you do three? Well, three would be too much. You know, it would be too much flow, yeah. too hard to handle. Yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Just got to get rid of this blue hose. No blue allowed in here. No blue. That's no blue. Only green. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a black one in here. I can. I'll put the fittings on it for you. All right. So that's a wrap for day. What is this? Day eight. That wrap, wrap for day eight. Um, we're just buttoning things up here tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning, buttoning up, and then we'll do a full walkthrough for you. Yep. So, some anchor bolts to put in on the lifts is really all that's left to do, and some some uh, massaging on the ramps. Yeah. Just and a little final cleanup. And I got to do some touch-up paint. Yeah, Kyle's programming the lighting. Just getting all the scenes set up. He's gonna love that. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. We'll see you for the for the wrap up. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya. All right. So before we wrap out of here for good, we have to make one last trip to the bake shop. So we're gonna go to Bob's, well bred, pick up some cinnamon rolls, some sticky buns. Uh, Matt wants us to acquire some buns for him too, so we're gonna get some of those. He said yeah. he's gonna do it. He might as well do it full on. So we're going. He's getting four. So that's good because I'm gonna do at least that many. I'm bringing some home too. Mike, you're gonna have some. We've been talking about this. They're, they were closed Tuesday, Wednesday. I bet you these are fresh from, oh, they probably just made them last night, Mike. No, yeah. They made them in the morning. Well, well, two in the morning. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The life of a baker, that's commitment. Mike, we're coming up on it. We're getting close, Mike. It's, uh, it's fairly close here. Yeah, everybody else needs to go straight. Don't, right. don't be pulling in here. We need to, this is just, uh, here it is. This is the place, well-bred bakery. Oh, someone's here waiting, look at that. Someone's here. We got, we Arrived. Got, we got a whole crew of people here. We got the camera production crew. Yep. We're shut it down. It's a big moment. It's a big moment, Mike. Nope, not yet. Not Two yet. more minutes. Really, can you tell I'm really anxious? Yeah. We're ready. All right. <laughs> it's our last hurrah, because we're heading back to Florida after today, so. Hey guys. Good morning, how are you? Our YouTube channel. Our, uh, we're working on a friend's garage up here. Um, so, hey, Fred introduced us to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know Fred. Yeah, Fred's a good dude, man. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's he brought us some of these, and now we yes, can't get enough. Did. Exactly. Can't get enough. He brought it over last week. I he, he sure did. Now I've been addicted ever since. <laughs> yeah, reviews, cinnamon roll reviews. I've, I'm a I'm a cinnamon roll connoisseur. So uh, yeah, these are these are the best I've ever good. had, honestly. Well, thank you. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna get some to-go's. Um, how about in one box, two stickies and two of the regular cinnamon, not non-glazed. I'm feeling good, buddy. I have uh, $67 worth of cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Huh? It's well worth it. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna, this is gonna go back here where, for safe keepings. That was good. So we actually met Bob. Bob rung us out. It's pretty cool. He's just living his dream. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Well, Bob, if uh, you're watching this by chance, Bob, thanks for uh, thanks for the amazing cinnamon rolls. Delicacies. Yeah, the delicacies, Mike. <laughs> They're quite good. Yeah. So we're bringing a bringing a stockpile home. At least I am. I can't wait. And the coffee's really good too. Well, they have a, yeah, it's very very good. Thanks for Either way, watching. thanks for watching. And uh, if you're ever anywhere near California. Come to Bob's Well Bread and get some cinnamon rolls. Like and subscribe, please. So we can buy more cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I'm gonna have some flown in on occasion, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna be some goodness right there. Look at that, Michael. Just look at that, will you? That the is. Smell coming out of that box is. Yeah, it's good. Just look at these dudes. I found that 38 seconds uh, does the trick. Okay, Mike, wait. Look at me. Okay, look at me. <laughs> I like that, Mike. Uh, That's a little demanding of you. You want down? You want to cruise? I think she's done. She's done with me. There you go. Mike, um, if, you, uh, if you're interested, there's big and thick mm -hmm. burgers up is here. Is that what it's called? It is. Uh, I will show you uh, quite the name for a burger place. Literally explaining the burger. Well, it's good that they're telling you know what you're going to get. You know? I guess what's the difference between calling it that or tasty burger, right? Because yeah. it's going to be tasty, but this one's these are big and thick. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm good, Michael. How are you? 
Yeah. You feel like you're prepared. Yeah. Got yourself ready for the shoot. Yeah, you ready? Okay, take two, mother. <laughs>